I am Marla Ehlers, Vern's daughter, and I'm so happy to be here this morning and speak on behalf of my family. This celebration is wonderful and a fitting culmination to the many, many years of planning, negotiating, building, and just plain hard work that has gone into bringing the Vernon J. Ehlers Amtrak station to life. It's so exciting to see that the vision has become a reality. During his time in office, my father served on three major policy committees, and he used to joke with his constituents that he was on the science committee because he was a scientist, he was on the education committee because he was an educator, and he was on the transportation and infrastructure committee because he wished to be reelected. <laughs> Earmarks were commonplace and not a political pariah. It was part of the job as he represented the interests of this, his district. His position on the Transportation Committee allowed him to effectively advocate for the infrastructure needs of West Michigan. He takes great pride in knowing that he made sure that we got our fair share of federal funds for roads, bridges, transit, and rail systems. My dad greatly values his partnerships and collaborations with local officials and leaders, such as John Logie, Mayor Hartwell, and Peter Varga, as well as Fred Upton and Senator Levin. It made his job in Washington that much easier, knowing that the federal funds he secured would be leveraged with other funds and put to very good use. We are so fortunate to have visionary, world-class transportation leaders right here in West Michigan, and they are to be commended for this their latest 